Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to Joe Games and the Forest of Frost by Natalie Ann Valentine. My name is Karina Gershowitz and I am the Director of Theatre Arts and Performing Arts Chair at Landon School. And I couldn't be more excited to welcome you to our winter middle school production in collaboration with Holton Arms. Now everything you are about to see was filmed completely safely with each actor in their own home and with the magic of technology brought together for your viewing pleasure to the safety of your home. So please grab some popcorn, relax, sit back and enjoy the adventure that awaits you. Joe Games and the Forest of Frost. Hey everybody, Joe underscore games here. It's my favorite time of year again. This is my third annual replay of The Forest of Frost Into the Woods. Of course, I've played this game millions of times. Who hasn't? The first game came out when I was maybe seven or eight and I played it through so much I wore out the disc. All right. Anyway, the beginning of this game has got to be one of the best openers to any video game Ever. I mean, the graphics are just out of this world good, especially for this time this game originally came out. I've only been doing this playthrough here on Nerve for three years, but I've got to have played through this game dozens of times. <sighs> it's really sad that Parker and Charlie aren't making any more games for the series. We never even found out why, really. There are tons of rumors, of course, but no one knows what happened for sure. Except for them, I guess. Hmm, it's such a bummer. This game has meant so much to so many people. Lee, go away. Anyway, the story of Forest of Ross and its characters. Joe, please! Lee, go away. I'll be quiet this time, I promise. You're literally never quiet. I will. I promise, please. Ugh. <sighs> That's exactly what I was saying, sidekick. Hey, I'm not your sidekick. I have a really cool side quest. Oh yeah, like the Force of Frost, the Silent Arrow side quest. Can I play when we get there, please? Lee, no way. This is my playthrough. Do your own if you want to play so bad. Come on, you know, Mom says I'm not allowed to have my own gaming channel. I'm not old enough. Well then, I guess you'll have to wait a few more years. Man. Ah, <sighs> oh, the ice mice used to get me so good when I first started the play. They sound so cute, but then they're so evil. I know, I used to get nightmares about those guys. <laughs> you still have nightmares about ice mice. Hey, I do not. And even if I did, it's because they're like scary, dirty squirrels gone wrong. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> you said you were going to be quiet. Uh, that, that wasn't me. Yes, it was. What do you mean it wasn't you? Yeah, what was me? Oh, oh. Come on, I let you come in, hang up me. Don't be a jerk. Dude, it wasn't me. Yeah. Oh. It was Quinn. Ha ha. Joe, listen to me. We need your help. Come into the Forest of Frost. There's no time to tell you everything now. You have to trust me. Take a leap into the Forest of Frost. Save us. S save you from, from what? Come into the game. Uh, how are we supposed to do that? Oh. 
Whoa. Dude, what the heck did you do that for? She said she needed her help. Dude, that was a video game character in a video game. And I don't know about you, but I am of the opinion that video games aren't real. They can't talk to people from inside. Yeah, but she just did. You heard what she said. Listen, it might have been like a hacker or something, like someone messing with the game. I'm sort of sure that's a thing. Maybe we should message Parker and Charlie. Look, I think they might be online. Look. <laughs> Parker and Charlie, <laughs> do you think they'd actually like respond? They probably get a million messages every day. Pretty sure uh, they haven't talked to each other in like years. Didn't you hear that thing about the whole drama that went down with the Forest of Frost sequel? It was hyped up forever and then just never happened. Yeah, plus, besides, all that stuff was rumors anyway. And it's not going to really matter because I messaged them both. Lee, uh, what did you no, say? Oh. Yeah, all I said was... Hey, my brother is doing a playthrough of the Forest of Frost and the game is acting weird. It's some kind of glitch. Will you please come into the game and see what's going on? Some kind of glitch. Yeah, if I were in their shoes, I would literally never respond to a message like that. Yeah, but like, maybe they're just that bored enough. <sighs> They'd have to be really bored. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, oh. Charlie, I have a voice message. No way, play it. Here, I'll come see what's going on. What's his username again? Oh, it's, uh, it's, um, Joe underscore games. Is that an S? Oh, uh, sorry, it's a Z. Repeat it, please. Nothing's coming up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there are, uh, two Zs at the end of games. Nice. Oh, hi, Charlie. Oh, um. Hi, Charlie. Hey there, nice to meet you too. Hi, I'm Joe. Ah, uh, yes, Joe Games. Great username. Oh, uh, thanks. Oh, I'm Lee, and good to meet you too. <laughs> so I'll be honest with you, you're not exactly the first person to claim our game was speaking to you specifically. You're not even the first one to say that this month. Please actually have something to show me. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, of course. Just one second. You didn't say she was going to be here, too. Cool. I see. Nice try. I'm going to go. I would have never agreed to show if I knew that she was going to be here, too. Yeah, well, it's not like I wanted to see you either, Parker. Didn't you say I had to go? Go ahead. Be my guest. You are so good at running away, after all. Yeah, well, you're so good at being a- Stop! You guys are acting like children! I invited Parker too! I think you guys should really hear this! Please, this isn't a trick. Listen. Charlie, Charlie, Parker, we need your help. The time I have to speak with you is limited. You must listen closely. Roll the trailer is too powerful to be contained. See what I mean? Yeah, alright. I definitely never put that in the game. Would you really even know? After you left and started working for that other studio, I can't even remember what it's called. Bad Cat Studios. Head. You know it what it's called. It seems like you forgot about the Forest of Frost. Maybe you're not the expert. That's not fair, Parker. I love the Forest of Frost. It was never about not loving the game. I just wanted to try something new. Whatever. Oh, okay. Oh, so sorry. I'm just trying to follow up. Parker, are you saying that Quinn is supposed to say that in the game? I mean, I've played that a lot, and I don't remember that ever happening, but I mean, you're the expert, so... No. There is no breaking of the fourth wall in the Forest of Frost. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. Just trying to figure out what's going on in my life right now. Joe, please, Charlie Parker. We need your help. Um, Quinn, if we're supposed to help you, how are we supposed to get in the game? <laughs> I guess. Whoa! Ah!
so cold. Is everybody okay? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm great. Wow, it's so beautiful here. Yeah, it's a lot colder real life. Ugh. Ugh. This isn't real life. It's a video game. <gasps> Hello. Oh my gosh! You're Quinn! Wow, wow, this is so cool! Hi, little human. Are all humans this energetic? Um, uh, I'm Lee, that's Joe, and over there is Shirley and Parker. Oh, um, hi, Mrs. Quinn, it's, it's, <laughs> it's an honor to meet you. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Who are you? Hi, um, I'm cool. Uh, Queen's Porter? Her por porter? Her right hand man. Oh. Yeah, oh, Well, it, it is good to meet you all. Thank you so much for joining me in the Force of Frost, but we must proceed quickly. We do not have much time. Time before what? Hold on. Wait. Whoa, wait. I, I, I just need to clear things up. Is this some sort of, like, artificial reality thing? Like, are, are you guys planning for a new game? No, 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 no. That is definitely not what is happening. I don't know what is happening, but that's not it. Yeah. If we were going to do that, why would we pick you? <gasps> um, I have a very well-respected and popular channel. Thank you very much. Okay, 20 followers plus your mom. My mom taught me how to play video games. How dare you? Shame Do you on know you. who my mom was? Shame, shame on you. Shame, 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 shame on you. This is no game. Whoa. Brule the Trollish plans to break out of the Forest of Frost. For many moons now, she has been gaining terrible foes and accumulating power in the forest. She is dissatisfied with the limits of the game world, and she intends to break the bell between the human world and this one, and who knows the damage she could cause. <laughs> That's ridiculous. None of this is real. How much can a fictional, non-corporal troll be? Even if she were a threat, it's not like she's gonna escape. Yeah, and yet you're here? Honestly, I'm fairly convinced this is some sort of shared delusion or terrible lucid dream I'm having. It's not real. Ow! Hey! It's real. All right, but you can't pretend like this is some sort of super normal, average kind of day we're having, Charlie. All I said was that it's real enough. Uh, just asking, if Brule were to get out of the game, how would she escape? Well, she can get out as easy as easily as you got in. But we didn't have anything to do with that. I mean, you're the one who brought us here. I mean, I just, I just don't know what we did except for playing the game. Some of us, <clears throat> Charlie, had a little more to do with it than just playing the game. I'm not saying I couldn't do it, but she's got a point, which I hate to say. Well, perhaps there are more to our creations than we ever intend. But there are limits. There are limits to code. <laughs> not if I'm the one coding. Wow. Hey guys, I think you're the coolest so please don't be mad at me, but can we just please focus our attention to Quinn? Thank you, little human. Brule must be stopped. You must go to her in the permafrost bog and face her, fight her, and travelers, you must win. There's no telling the havoc she could wreak on both of our worlds otherwise. She's not a nice person. <gasps> <gasps> Sorry, she's not. You were right, Cole. But you're the one who's a fighter. I don't understand that what we can do that you can already. You see, I, I've spent my entire existence fighting Brother Trillish. It is the Sisyphean trial of my life, and yet here we are. And it's simply time to stop repeating the same action and expecting different results. 
Hmm. We should try. I, I think we should try. What, what happens if we get a? What happens if something happens to us here? What happens if I guess the word would be reboot in the real world in our world? Well, you see, there's magic here. I can hold on to the thread that is holding you to this world during your fight with Rule. You'll all be safe. Magic? It doesn't exist in our world. <laughs> I'm sorry. You might try holding on to the notion that you do not know all there is to know about the world of the forest. Or perhaps your own. I... okay? Hmm. So, when do we leave? You must begin your journey... now! What? We'll be safe as long as you're with us. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot go with you, you see. Um, I must move quickly to protect the good residents of this land, but you know, have no fear, because I will be watching over you, I advise, all over the forest. Like eyeballs? Dude. What? <laughs> I mean only, <laughs> hey, I mean only that I've lived here a very long time, and now the land and its residents very well. I can't believe I'm going to ask you this, but... Don't you have, like, weapons or anything for us? Yeah. I forgot to pack my sword with me today. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you see, I, um, I unfortunately have nothing to give you. All of everything we have is corrupted. Glitched all of our weapons, all of our armor, and either vanished or somehow untouchable. Our hands pass through it when we uh, reach for our weapons or armor. You and me rule the show us through other means. Oh, Joe, what are we gonna do, though? We do what we always do. We play the game. figure out the forest. I can go a little of the way, but I can't go all the way. Because, um, it's too spooky in there. Well, uh, thanks for helping, though. Why are you afraid of the forest? Don't you live here? There are things in the forest. We know that. What kind of things do you mean? <gasps> Ice mice? Big ones. Getting bigger by the day, it seems like. But there's something even worse, what you really gotta look out for. There's nothing called a forest spell in this game. No offense, but um, it's like Quinn said. There are some things about this place that even you don't know. And some of those things are gonna wanna fight. What's a forest spell? I guess you would call them lizards, but they fly, and they live in the trees. And if they, and if you get too close enough to one of them, they swoop down, fight. Like a dragon? No, they're smaller than that, but they have very sharp teeth and are not very nice. Exactly how big are they? They're not very big. Yeah, but how big? I mean, next door to what you might call big. Can you be more specific? We just need to know what we're dealing with here. Oh. You gotta promise me you'll watch out. How do we defeat them? We don't have weapons or anything. Hmm. Ah. Forest bells really like to get pet on the head. They get all nice, and eventually, they just fall asleep. But the problem is getting close enough to one of them before they bite. Oh, like a dog or a cat? Oh, I didn't know you had those in your world, too. Yeah, the four spells really like to get pet on the head. You know, but I'm just usually too scared to get close enough to one of them. Because I'm fighting. So I just run away. <laughs> You're going to make a fine warrior someday. <laughs> hey, sometimes you got to know when you're beat. And my sometimes is when I'm getting bit by a four spell. That Alice is on pretty fair to me. That's as far as I can go. Hmm? 
Are you sure you can't come with us? Where do we go from here? Just keep going down this path. The forest will show you the way. And good luck. You're going to need it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Oh, I'm not confident at all. It's an idiom. Hey, I'm not an idiom. You're certainly right about that. Hmm, that was weird. That was weird, right? Literally everything about this is weird. No, but that was like more. What I'm trying to say is, why is there something in the game that you didn't put there in the first place? How is that even possible? It's like Quinn said, some of the things you make have a mind of their own. Good fortune, Frost Riders. Oh! Uh, oh, we're not Frost Riders. Oh, I know. Of course you're not. But it does have a nice ring to it, doesn't it? It's one of my favorite lines. You wrote it, I think, Charlie? Very nice work. Are you the watering shopkeeper? Of course I am. And here I am. And here you are. That means you must need something. I never go where I'm not needed. Oh, we don't need anything. As usual, she doesn't know what she's talking about. We need weapons and armor. Do you have what sent by any chance? Oh, I'm afraid you weren't quite a high enough lover for that yet. What? That's what? outrageous. I always play this game on the hardest mode. I'm ready. Uh, not quite, my friend, not quite. Perhaps in a few more pages. What does that even mean? It means Charlie doesn't know how to write good dialogue is what it means. Well, maybe if your story were a little easier to follow- Tut tut, no friendly fire in the forest of frost. We'd have to be friends for it to be friendly fire, shopkeeper. Okay, 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 we're all on the same side here. Even if we're not all friends. Yeah, Joe and I fight all the time. And we're gonna work together. He even calls me obnoxious. But we're still family. Yeah? Well, we're not family. I've never agreed with you more. When you are finished airing out your dirty laundry, I do indeed have a few items that may help you get safely through your journey. Wait, but Quinn said she didn't have anything she could give us. How very odd when there are weapons all around the keep for such a purpose as this. She said that she couldn't touch them, that there are glitches of some kind. Ah, uh, yes, that would be something Quinn would say. What do you mean? Hmm, yes, no, it simply won't do at all for you to go wading into permafrost bog completely and utterly useless as you currently are. We're not useless. Of course. Of course. So, you can help? Oh my, yes. <gasps> oh. I can't oh, believe no way! I made this. Awesome. Wah, wah. I can get used to swing out of this bad boy. Wah, wah. You said we weren't ready. I merely said you were not ready for wit's end. I said nothing of stone splitter, refurbished great sword, hornet sting, or the point. Cool! It's not not cool. Thank you, wandering shopkeeper. You're terribly welcome. And now, I must leave you. Ciao! You have heard of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, you, you have a call warned us about. Whoa. Yes, it was correct for you to be warned of me. I'm frightening. You are afraid. I mean, no, not especially because you're so smart. Oh, 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 jeez, that hurts. That thing's like three inches long. How badly could that have hurt you? Ow. Hey. Oh, oh no, 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 I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. You're super scary. Please don't hurt me. Oh, oh, hey, don't bite my friends! But I love to bite. Yeah, well, it's not nice to bite people you just met. 
I also bite people that I've known for a very long time. Well, can't you just ask? Can I bite you? No. So you see the problem? Why not try giving someone like a high five instead? That is a human thing. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it is. You will show me how to do the high five. Uh, okay, so, um, you hold up your hand, and then the other person holds up their hand, and then... Like this, yes. Mm -hmm, and you just, uh, this isn't gonna work. Lee, would you mind? Yep, mm-hmm. Hmm, I see. You will give me a high five. Hey, good job! Yep, great job. That was not as good as fighting. Well, it is less painful. Why are you in the Forest of Frost? You have never seen me before. We're supposed to fight Brule the Churlish. Why would you want to fight Brule? Brule is a nice fellow. We play checkers. You play checkers with Brule, but you don't know what a high five is? <laughs> I'm sure Brule would play checkers with you if you just asked. When the Frost Rider said that Brule the Churlish is trying to escape the game, do you know anything about that? Why would Brule leave the Forest of Frost? It is Brule's home. Well, Quinn said that Brule was trying to escape and take over our world. <sighs> Unlikely. Brule just redecorated, so why would Brule leave? That's what we're trying to figure out. Okay, you're boring me now. I'm going to leave. High fives. Hmm. <laughs> oh, uh, you just missed the Queen of the Forest bells. Oh, yeah, she only bit us a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no, is, is she still here? No, she said we were boring and then left. <laughs> I see. Where did you, um, where did you get all of that, the, the weapons? Oh yeah, we met the wandering shopkeeper, and she gives all these awesome stuff. Yeah, like it. Yeah, how wonderful she happened by, it. just the right moment. Mm -hmm. Well, I must take my leave of you then. Just wanted to see on how you were faring in the forest. Well, we're in the middle of a fictional forest where we don't know anyone or anything. About to possibly battle World the Turlish, which we also don't know how to do. But other than that, we're doing great. Good to stay positive. See you all again soon. Okay, bye. We're lost, aren't we? No, no, I know exactly where we're going. Yeah, we're going in circles. We can't be. We're going in a straight line. That's that's not how circles work. This place seems familiar. Hello, weary travelers. Oh. Hello again. Did we just see you? You look different. Oh, perhaps I do. Perhaps I do not. You definitely do. Sometimes our eyes make us see what we want to see. Either way, I have a gift for one of you. Lee, my friend, I believe this belongs to you. <gasps> no way! But where's the arrow? That's not mine to give. However... Greetings, travelers. Wandering shopkeeper, my friend, it's been so long. Too long. Far too long. Yo, it's the witch! What? What? Lee, you cannot go around calling people a witch. Yeah, but that's her name! That's a swamp witch! Oh, He's right, Traveler. Sorry, we should have given you a real name. Ah, just because you did not give me one does not mean I do not have a name. Well, what's your name? Dolores. 
Wow, that's a really pretty name, Dolores. I thank you, little traveler. Anyways, I do have an elsewhere to be. Keep going, my friends. You are on the right path. Au revoir, my friend. I hope to see you at the Permafrost Bog potluck next month. I never miss it. Um, bye. Wait a minute. Does this mean I can do it? I can really do it? <sighs> oh, yeah, of course you can do it. <laughs> what are you talking about? I forgot something. Wait one moment. Whoa. There. That's more like it. I am everywhere, but cannot be seen. When you speak my name, I disappear. I break without a touch. I am there without a sound. When you are alone, I may be found. Who am I? Silence! <gasps> no way! Man! I don't know if I can accept this. Silent Arrow does not choose every traveler who knows the answer to the riddle. Knowing the answer is one thing. Being worthy of the arrow is quite another. Yeah, but what if I don't do a good enough job? Oh, you will. Silent Arrow knows, and so do I. <laughs> Gee, I... <laughs> thanks! You, protect him. I will. And you two, remember who you used to be? Now keep going. You've got everything you need. Bye! Hopefully we can see you soon! Yeah, thanks. Uh, goodbye. Hmm. How did she know your name? She's a small boy. She knows everything. Yeah, but you never told her, so it's impossible. Aren't we past the point of asking how any of this can possibly be happening? It is happening. That's all that matters. We need to fight Rose Hurlish and go home. Someone there is bound to have the answers to your questions. They're confused, Charlie. We all are. While you might be unconcerned and satisfied with skating through life not knowing anything, not everyone is built like that. I wasn't talking to you. Hey, hey. It's fine. Let's just... Do what we need to do. We've almost reached the permafrost bog. Charlie, you need to apologize to Lee right now. He's just a kid asking questions. Hey, I'm not just a kid! Sometimes you need to take action and not worry so much about knowing every answer before you start. For example, take Parker. She can't put one foot in front of the other without analyzing what might happen 30 different ways. I'm careful. Unlike you, I don't go around barreling into everything I try and do, causing problems for myself and everyone around me. Guys, stop! Please! Lee, I hope you don't turn out to be a coward like Parker. And I hope you don't go up to stab your best friend in the back, abandoning her and the game you created just because you want more money. Oh, is that what happened? None of this matters. It's not real. It's just a game. It matters to me. All of this matters to me. When this game came out, our dad had just died a few days before. Lee and I, we didn't know what to do, so we just played the game together. We got lost in the story and... We didn't feel quite so bad for a little while. It was really nice. My dad always told me to be brave and to stand up for people. And it really sucks that you two hate each other, but you need to get it together so we can do this thing and get home safely. Then you're free to never speak to each other again, alright? But for now, this thing matters and it should matter to you. So Lee and I are going to fight for the good guys. Join us or don't. It's up to you. Sorry. You're right. Yeah. Sorry. Let's go. So, uh, Joe, how much farther do we have to go? Keep going till we get there. Alright. We've been here for at least a few game days.
You're on the right path. It's not too much further now. If you're here, then that must mean we need something. But what do we need? This time, my friends, only a little bit of advice. And what's that? Even in the forest of frost, not all is as it seems. What does that mean? I wrote the story and I coded the game. Ah, but not everything is as it has always been, is it? No, but I still don't think that counts as advice. Do you have any magical something or other that can help us defeat Bro the Churlish? You have everything you need. Besides, it's not polite to return a gift. <laughs> Thanks! You're quite welcome. And one more thing. What's that? Welcome to the permafrost bog. Be brave, travelers. We're here. Are you all ready? Yeah, let's do it. Here goes nothing. and scary. No reason to scream. Aren't you bad? I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. Ah, rule, rule, rule. There's some very bad guys coming with swords. Guess you already knew. Are you bad guys? This must be a trap. I'm not really a, a trap kind of brule. I'm more straightforward, axe-throwing kind of brule. Um, sorry, Mrs. Brule Churlish, oh, we were just, told that- just brule is fine. We were told that you were planning to escape the game world and come into the human world, our world, and that you wanted to reign supreme over humanity. What reason would I have to do that? I'm very happy here in the permafrost bog in the beautiful forest of frost. In fact, if you have a moment for me to show you around, I recently redecorated. It's better than the mood wars we made, if you can believe it. Yeah, that's what Yam said! So you've met my dear Yam. She and I are in the middle of a really great game of checkers. One of these days, she might even beat me. Hold on, hold on. So, you're saying that you do not want to take over the human world? Nope. I love my bog. It is my home. There's a better place in the world than the permafrost bog. You can tell Quinn we said that. But Quinn said that you were... She's probably just jealous. Yeah, but why would Quinn lie? She's Quinn! Is it possible you misunderstood? Mm, no, I don't think so. She brought us here specifically to go to battle with you. How rude! But, but not, not like in the game. This is different, isn't it? This is definitely different. Uh, maybe we should try heading back. Hmm. Why would Quinn say that about Brule? Well, you are all welcome to stay in the permafrost bog as long as you like. Yeah, you'll love it here. Um, what can I get you? There an assortment of snacks. Are there any allergies I should be knowing about? <gasps> Work, travelers! You've saved the people of the Forest of Frost. Quinn, you have some explaining to do. After all we have been through together? The travelers here have you cornered, old friend, and it looks like you're going to meet your, your end for good this time. Joe, everybody, you need to be careful. She's not telling the truth. My partner here is tired and knows little of what he says. It's been a long journey in the cold forest for all of us. You can quit that charade, Quinn. We know. You lied to us. 
You wanted us to fight, bro, but you're the one who wants to escape the game world. You have no idea what it's like to be the hero time and time again. You, every year, you think you know who I am. The time has come for a change. I am the bad guy now. Okay, I am more than what you thought of me I always have been. But, Quinn, we think the world of you. You save the day every single time. I have a life-size model of wit's end on my wall. But that is the problem. That's the problem. I do not want to save the day. I... It's too much. Can't you take a vacation? It is not nearly as simple as taking a vacation. Quinn, you just need a nap. Come play checkers with Twitch Yam and me sometime. Bro we'll always beats us, but it really is still fun. I do not want to play checkers. I want to be able to make mistakes. I want to fail. Can't you understand what it's like to never be able to fail? Yeah, I understand. Me too. Then you understand why, um, why I have to go and you have to stay. What? What do you mean we have to stay? Well, with you here, bad will still be defeated. Good will still prevail, just not with me. It's it's not a party being the big bad either. I mean, come on. Brule the churlish? I'm not churlish at all. I have a remarkably easygoing temperament. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I still have that Brule Drools t-shirt I got when the game first came out. Brule Drools? See, I don't drool. I don't. No! <laughs> no. Quinn, come on, this this isn't you, you're Quinn, you're the best Frost Rider there has ever been. But I am not. You made me up. I'm a fiction. But not anymore, what we're gonna do, you see, is a trade. Me for you. All of you, you can stay and stay here and live this life over and over and over and over again while I escape, finally, into the human world. I will be better, I will be different. No, 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 I, I will be worse. I will not be the hero for one more day. Ah! Ah! <sighs> we can't stay here. Put that down. No. Ah! All right, ah! I forgot you could ah! do that. Put wit's end down. Only if you pin your sword down first. Uh, Quinn, Quinn, stop this madness. This isn't who you are. You do not know who I am. You're my friend. Stop this. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh my god. Ah! Oh! Is everybody okay? <sighs> yeah, thanks, Lee. You're the best. Let me go now. No, no, don't do it. Listen, there's got to be another way. Can't you guys trade for a while? Bro, maybe you can try being the good guy? That's actually what... That's what the sequel is going to be. The game that never happened? It almost happened. It should have happened. Tell me about it. In the game that never happened, Quinn, you're the bad guy. A wicked spell is cast upon you by the forces of darkness. You're the villain. In Brule, you're the hero. The play that goes to the game is you as you're trying to claim your rightful position as the rule of the permafrost bog. Whoa. It would need a few updates now, but... Maybe. That's an understatement, but maybe we could... I'd be interested if you wanted to. One more time, for old time's sake. For the forest of frost. Wait, I... I would not have to save the day? Oh, I would be a great hero. Will, will, will there be a side quest or two for me? Definitely. Oh, yes, I can't wait. Okay, so are we all going to be okay? Quinn, you're not going to try and escape the human world? Do you promise to give me a new story? Yeah, I promise. We both promise. Then I will stay and fight for the Force of Frost for another day. <sighs> Thank goodness. I mean, I really, really love video games, but I mean, wouldn't want to live in one. Yeah, I'm pretty busy too. Wait, I haven't even gone to high school yet. I'm not ready to save the whole world. 
I'm not ruling it out though. Then I think it's time for you all to go home. I trust I will see you again one day, Joe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank all of you for reminding me that there is so much more to me than I even thought there was. Sure. I mean, I still think you're a hero, even if that's not all you are. <sighs> so, how do we... Say Parker, friends. All right, all right, we're friends. I've missed you. Yeah. 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 Well, that's cool. That was ridiculous. I think I'm just gonna go and order a pizza and take a nap. Me too. Bye. Stay frosty, Lee. Good game, Joe. Oh, bye. Bye, you guys are the coolest. Did that really just happen? You mean, we got sucked into a video game, and we had to fight the bad guy who's a good guy, and the good guy wanting to be a bad guy, and I got to do the silent arrow side quest, and that, like, weird yam the forest ball, and you got to wield wit's end, the last hope of the Frost Riders. Oh, well, yeah, I guess, but I was actually talking about really getting to meet Parker and Charlie. Yeah, that's cool too, I guess. Oh, man. Hmm. What a weird day, God. The weirdest. I guess I should... Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you are ridiculously excited for the new Force of Frost game, because same. Woo! Like and subscribe. Bye.